morning, ladies and gentlemen. And I thank all the dignitaries who have spoken in front of me and before me and all my friends, my colleagues and of course all my students. It's been an interesting journey for all of us. At some point or the other, we all got to wear this white coat. But the point is, what does it signify? How did it come about? I am here to talk just a little bit about that. I know all of you are impatient to get yours. I'll take you back in history. Till about the 19th century, um, medicine was all about a little bit of quackery, a little bit of shamanism, a little bit of, uh, if I can use the Hindi words, jhaag hook, which happens even today, a lot about jari booty, uh, some of it which happens even today. At about the 19th century, there had been advances in medicine and doctors realized that if we were to give a little scientific flavor to their looks and to their activities, they had to adopt some symbol, some sign which made them different. At that time, scientists were coming up, they were being respected, there were advances in chemistry, there were advances in physics. And interestingly, most of those people working in laboratories used to wear this white coat. So doctors probably at that time, to show that they were indulging in scientific medicine, started wearing white coats. And it slowly was adopted all over the world and it became a symbol of medicine as it is today. The white coat ceremony as such was started in 1993 in USA in a medical school in Columbia. So you can understand that when we joined college in our time, and that just gives you my age, we didn't have the white coat ceremony. We just wore the, this thing. As our dean has mentioned, all our students have worked extremely hard. You were overachievers in school. You worked extremely hard. You took your coaching or you did not take your coaching. You fought. You got your seats in the NEET. You got a rank and then you got a college seat and finally you got yourself admission into this college. The white coat ceremony <clears throat> symbolizes only one thing today, that it is an acceptance by your teachers into the brotherhood of medical professionals. You can call it a rite of passage, you can call it a change in your status. As such, today, students are lay persons. When we give you the white coat, we accept you into our ranks as future medical professionals and of course, people who when we fall ill, will look after us. It also indicates that we accept you for training. I am sure that all of you are here with only one major purpose. That is to acquire the knowledge to become good doctors. Remember please, I said good doctors. We as your teachers will try and do our best to pass on that knowledge to you. However, with it you must understand that when you accept the white coat, and I do hope that all of you will accept it without reservations. Accept with it the responsibility for patient care and that you will learn to put the welfare of your patients first and foremost. And with it you will determine and decide for yourself that you will always, always put forward your knowledge for their care. The white coat represents the first crucial step on a very long journey which all our dignitaries have referred to, whether it be starting your MBBS and then going for, uh, the USMLE has been mentioned, or to do your post-graduation and of course to work and to be a lifelong learner and teacher. The white coat ceremony today <coughs> just represents
the first step towards that journey. It did, it has been said, the journey of a thousand miles begins with but a single step. Today is that first step. For my students especially, I want you to look to your left and then I want you to look to your right. These are your peers, these are your friends, these are your colleagues. Unfortunately, because of the COVID, all of you know that your families cannot be here. You may take us as your extended family for the time being. When you wear the white coat, it is in front of your peers, that is your fellow students, your teachers, and of course your families, that you swear to uphold and you decide to uphold all the principles in medicine. Remember, as has been mentioned, when you become a doctor, you acquire the capability to do good for your community, to drive change, to become good teachers. You have to keep that central thought in your mind all the time. One more important thing that I would like to tell all of you. When you put on your white coat and you walk, you represent yourself, you represent the college, you represent the profession. Wear it with pride, wear it with dignity and don't do anything which will bring a bad name to the profession. You have to remind yourself every time that you put it on that what was the commitment that you made to the world today.